Okay. Hello everybody and welcome to Zombie Gaming. Um I'm Connor and now for the greatest game I have ever found. Um this is BeamNG Drive. Um this isn't the full game, this is only the tech demo. Um I haven't got around to buying the actual uh game yet. Um as you can see on the left it says Alpha Access um, and here it says something which I noticed um, and a lot of thoughts went through my mind on this board it says local same, uh, same PC demo derbies that is if, if they're going to put multiplayer into it that's something which is going to become popular quickly. Races is in various gameplay, again something which multiplayer will take advantage of. Uh, completely revamped sounds, can't wait. Uh, more vehicles and environments, again can't wait. And I'm saying this as if I've got the game, some point I will. Now then, underneath that, um, murderous AI. <laughs> I already know you can spawn AI vehicles in the game which um, can either chase you and try and well destroy you or um, they can run away from you and you chase them or you just leave them run around um, but murderous AI ah uh, that's something I you know something that I noticed um, losing the words already now um, that's something I think loads of people will enjoy because if they're playing single player on their own that's if they don't put multiplayer into it um, then they're not really going to have people, other people driving around with them are they? so you've got murderous AI they got a computer playing with them they're not alone they have a computer with the same feelings as they do when it crashes <laughs> though you don't know those feelings no. So then has support for heavy machinery and other vehicles. I am saying this now. BeamNG, if you're watching, I want trains in the game. Not like rigs or rods. I want steam engines. Okay? Diesels, you know, they're okay. Electric, okay. Steam engines. That's something I want to see in this game. Well, I was going to say ASAP, but whenever you can. Um, so let's just jump right into it. Uh, it should be fine. I'm not sure about the quality. I've had to mess around with the recording software. Um, so we shall see. Play. Now then, something with this game. This is only the tech demo, so there's only one map and one vehicle. <laughs> but this doesn't stop the fun. Right then, you can see straight away that the graphics are so high in this game uh, sorry if I sound a bit weird I can hear the popping myself because um, I'm listening back to this um, no the graphics are a huge improvement from rigs of rods the physics is something as well but we'll get down to that soon um, uh, it's an interesting choice of vehicle really because not only is it quite destructive on the front back and sides but it's actually pretty indestructible from the top and bottom um, durability of the vehicles is not like any other game where you hit something and you can carry on as if nothing ever happened um, you can break parts suspension you can break Call call you over. I think you can break. You can break. Well, I was going to say you can break the wheels. It's technically a puncture, but this game doesn't exactly put a puncture in. Instead, it takes a chunk off the wheel. But still, it's good for uh, something which has, I believe, quite um, quite a small team behind it. But it. It didn't stop 
anyone from creating one of the greatest games that I've ever seen, well, the greatest game I've ever seen, with physics in it. So, here's something you want to see. Right? We're moving. Haha! I think it's a bit loud, to be honest. I don't know how well you can hear me. I might have to. Hang on. Tell you what. Exit from the mission. Um, I'm going to. Okay, I applied settings last time and it didn't seem to want to uh, apply them. So I'm going to put them on normal. I'm going to pull the sound down. Hopefully, yeah, that's fine. I'm going to apply that now. Done. Uh, I don't pay attention to this because I don't know what it does. So I'm going to play now. That might make things a little bit better for me. Uh, I think it's shared equality, which is on high. I don't need, don't really care about that. Right then, let's get going again. Ah, that's a nice volume. Yeah, yeah the physics. Oh, are great. You can just hit something. Oh, hit something and do that. So, oh, oh, ow. Can you imagine if you were inside that while you hit it? Well, you'd be pleased to find out. <laughs> yes, it's got an interior. This is amazing. The only thing I must say is if you damage the car in certain places, it does... Uh, the inside of the car does start to shake quite a bit. Sadly. But, this is something which can be worked upon. Um, if this find the time. So... <coughs> Ow. Ouch. Now, something I thought is if people started making like pretty much every car in the world currently and put them into this game, and this could be used as um, product for people who are choosing their next car because it's got such high physics. If every car was made to exactly as they are in real life, all the physics and everything. People could test out the cars on the game so they could choose the next car or first car even um, which I haven't got to yet <laughs> let's hope they all start making hatchbacks but anyway it could be oh no oh I accidentally paused the gameplay whoops no it could it could be used for people to choose the next car if they want so you could see how safe the vehicle is from inside and outside uh, from the bonnet cam as well which is here um, all the cinematic cameras so you can see how the car reacts to certain things um, now this is the tech demo so there's only one vehicle so control E open this up vehicle selector there's only one car but yeah, there's four different variants of it the default uh, the i6 four-wheel drive, i6 rear-wheel drive, and then the V8 four-wheel drive stripped. Probably wondering what this is. I'll show you. Happily. <laughs> now then, to you, this looks like a car which hasn't been finished built yet. But to everyone playing the game, this is joy. This is so much fun because it's it's look at it. It's, lightweight and just well anyone's cup of tea really you know look at it oh oh right when I was saying earlier that it doesn't do tire punctures that's what I mean it takes a chunk out the wheel but still if you look the other tires they're not um the weight isn't affecting, well, not really, isn't affecting, like, um, how can I say this? Um, how squishy. <laughs> That's my technical term. You might have a different one. It's your choice. Anyway, it, it does, uh, like, squish down onto the ground a bit. Um, 
it's a good start, to be honest, but I think they could do with uh, keeping the wheel there. And I've noticed this seems to help <laughs> the slide. Take a chunk out the wheel like a slide with a bit more... Oh, hang on. I was about to say slide with a bit more skill, but seems a fail on that. Right. I've gone and hit that now. So I'm turning right, but the front right wheel is broken. Okay, so I can't exactly turn with that wheel. Uh, I'm going to reset. Now then, something else is fun. Control W. Here is the vehicle part configuration. You can take parts off, put parts on. So, bed, short bed. There we go. We got it back onto it. Um, I could change the steering wheel on the inside. The controls are the wrong way round. You look using the this has Xbox controller compatibility. So if you look up with the uh, right stick, it looks down. If you look down with the right stick, it goes up. Right and left is fine. It's just the up and down. It's really annoying. So as I was going on. You can change the steering wheel to a racing wheel, which is something I quite like. Um, yeah, you, you. This is just so much customization on this. Um, something else was just quite fun. Uh, cab, gone. Short bed, gone. Right. This allows access to be able to um, see what is under the chassis. Uh, something which I've noticed is the handbrake. Uh, you can see it moving there. It stays around as well as one of the needles, uh, which is I don't know if you can see it, it's little pixels, but it's but there. Um, so you can see what's underneath it, uh, and when you do that, it hovers over the part. So I'm gonna put sport on. I don't know what if it changes what it looks like. Sway bar, sport, steering, sport, um, rear shocks are going to be sport. Ah, oh, that's something that doesn't show the shocks. Rear leaf springs are going to be sport. Uh, it seems um, textures are not when you change it from default it doesn't seem to show you them a little bit of an issue but oh well uh, you can change the sport wheels uh, off-road wheels are quite cool look at them but this is only the tech demo so there isn't any textures for it uh, I'm going to change these back to sport now then probably thinking now you've gone and done this it's not going to move uh, let me change the front wheels again um, put the wrong ones on. Well done. Yeah, you're probably thinking it can't move. That's why you're wrong. It moves fine, provided you take the handbrake off. Whoops. No, it works fine. Just the sounds tend to disappear from it and go to a different part of the map. They still work, but on a different part of the map. So this thing is a little. It's like an RC car, basically. It's a little bundle of joy. Oh, look at it. You can really slide a car in this. The physics is so great. You know, I haven't seen anything like it. But something I must say now. Any other company who want to uh, put this into their game, I urge them, try their hardest not to, unless you have a truly great game. Uh, as voted by the public, or a great, I like a great idea as voted by the public. Otherwise, if this gets put into every game, it's going to become boring and stale, and no one's going to really like the idea of amazing physics. It's just going to get boring, and that's something we kind of um, that isn't around currently with this game. It's just a bundle of fun. But if if people are gonna put this into their um, like into every game, it's just it's not gonna be fun. Games are gonna get boring, 
and you're going to be running out of ideas for truly fun games. And that's something that's quite an issue. Because this is truly fun simply because it has the physics it has. If it didn't have these physics, then it would pretty much just be rigs of rods, just better. It, it would still be fun, yes, but not to this, uh, not to this amount. Um, right then, this is an. I, I turned it into an off-road car now. Um, my phone's going off to tell me I've hit the 15 minute limit um, I'm going to shut it, shut it up because I'm going to see what I can do now to get it uploaded I've pretty much just showed ev um, everything except for the physics in this game uh, I've gone a bit over limits oh well anything for you anything for you people on YouTube okay um, racing wheel right here it's just pretty much off-road car you can see it bouncing about now then down to the physics of the game this is something you're probably waiting for for 15 minutes and a couple of seconds but now then watch as it hits it look at it you I just can't get my head around how good the physics are in this I mean look even the exhaust has come off that's just sliding against the ground. Front left uh, suspension, uh, it's independent, so it's broken a bit. Whoops. It's just crumpled. Each individual part. The Nord beams, or whatever they make, used to make these vehicles, are quite high on these cars, which is a good thing. The higher the better, the more realistic. So, right, something to show you the physics a bit better. Um, this game, believe it or not, has slow motion, so I can slow down time. So, I'm going to pause time here. Alt, down arrow. Re reset time. Oh! Well done! I missed! Well, that's a first. <laughs> Speed up time again. I really need a better microphone. I can hear myself so so badly. Just the <laughs> whoops. That's all it is. That was a light blow. Yeah, I need a new microphone desperately. <laughs> Post suggestions. So I'm gonna slow down time again. It slows it down zero to zero point five percent of real time. There we go. Slow down. I believe it goes slower, so I'm going to slow it down a bit more. don't know what this goes down to, but um, watch as the wheel hits the ramp. That is amazing. Something I must say though, the wheel does go through the body without any contact. That must be fixed. It is a must. Something the Alphas have noticed by uh, making this car a 4x4. But the rear axle, if you if it takes enough impact from landing, it uh, comes up through the bed, comes up through the back of the truck, and it gets stuck, which is really annoying. But again, it's only an early alpha, so something that they can work on. Uh, I'm going to speed this up a bit, back to the 0.5 percent of real time, and you could just see how good it is. Uh, you can see the bonnet then jumping up and down. That was just because of the force of the car put onto the ramp. Uh, I have to reset the camera then. But watch as it hits now. Physics takes its to Oh, the tow bar just went through. But the physics work extremely well. As the back of the vehicle hits it, but it propels it up. And doing so the front is brought down um, so it's gonna hit done that now so I just it's gonna go on its roof I think if I break 
No, it's coming back, I think. We're flying now. I think it believes it can fly. But it's forgetting one simple thing. It's a truck. It's it's not a hatchback. You can't just throw it off the top of a building and watch it float away. This is like a 1.5 ton truck. I don't know what the actual weight of it is, but it's something around a ton, I imagine. It, it doesn't fly, basically. It doesn't understand that. <laughs> Oops. Um, so I'm going to reset the speed. So, I don't know if I said this, but you can see impact from inside the car, so, so you can get an idea what it is. I'm pretty sure I talked about this being a good game for people to choose their next car. Did I? I've forgotten. I guess we'll see in the, in the video. So, to give you an idea what the actual game looks like, there's different parts of the map which actually have terrain textures and trees and all this epicness. Um, this is one part. The camera does go under the train, which is a bit annoying, but again, without it, we wouldn't be able to see some broken parts underneath. So, you can see the physics working away, trying to get across this terrain. And it just amazes me and how good of a job they did on creating the vehicle physics and the terrain to go with the physics. And I I don't think there's a terrain editor like this. It it's just so good. So smooth. Other terrain editors are basically working squares. Large squares. But as far as I'm aware, you can see on the floor. I think they work in small squares, to be honest. Well, maybe not small. I think it works in half a square each. Yeah, it w I think it works in quarter squares. I'm not sure. Who cares? Me. Um, well, that gives you an idea of what the eventual game will look like. Now, something which this game doesn't, uh, the tech demo doesn't have, is front lights. Uh, sadly. But oh, oh well, it's being worked upon probably. I I just can't wait to like um, either a be bothered to get the game or b when I get fed up playing the tech demo and decide to get the game for a bit more fun. Wait, I've already forgotten what I was talking about now. What was I talking about? I genuinely have forgotten. I know I was talking about something to get getting the actual one. Ladies and gentlemen watching this, my brain cannot remember what I was just talking about. About two two, maybe one minute ago. Damn. That's something I'm going to have to live with. Um, but the, um, the amount of things you can do in this game, the creativity of it, what you can well, decide you want to do with the vehicle. Right, I forgot what I was talking about again. I am amazing at forgetting what I'm on about. So damn easily. Oh well. Again, something I have to live with. But. What am I going to say? <laughs> I genuinely don't know now. This, this game baffles me. And there's so much to talk about, I just can't get it in my head. It's too good. You just have to play it. If you if you are unsure of buying the game, if it's a bit too top top end graphics and all that, then download the tech demo. Test it on your computer, like I did. It works fine 
on lower end computers provided you set up the settings well I mean I've got mine on medium simply because of the recording software um, whoops that's something that needs to be fixed I think BeamNG if you're watching fix it please yeah it, it works on lower end computers pretty well again prov provided you have the settings correct um, but if you've got a low end computer I don't recommend you record gameplay otherwise it's gonna completely ruin the um, look of the video so I guess that's your choice and you'll learn the hard way if you don't listen um, or you could just test it out either way uh, it, it it's a huge leap from rigs of rods where you'd, you'd get lag most of the time. Um, it's lagging there a bit. I think it's lagging because of those little revolving... Wait, they don't revolve, do they? No, the bits under them. I think it's lagging because of that. It's got a bit of an animation to it, so it's lagging a bit. See, it lags around this area. I think... If I yeah, if I look away from that circ uh, the thing circling round, it lags less. But if you look at the signs, they give you an idea of what the game has, the full game, and what's about to come in next update for it. So it gives you an idea, really, of how far uh, they've looked ahead and how much. Uh, they've researched into vehicle physics and um, various other things. On for, just to make this game as realistic as basically humanly possible, I don't think we'll see another vehicle game like this. I mean, other other game companies who create vehicle games, it would be interesting to see if they implement something like this in their game. Just not exact otherwise it's gonna ruin the fun a game something like um, a racing game you know average racing game PlayStation racing game um, I'm trying to think now of an example uh, I don't know the classic Gran Turismo games they were amazing I the physics in them was okay like slide in the car, jump in the car, odd, but, um, that, that was good about the game, but crashing wasn't something it was good for, so they could probably implement something like this, and a lot more people will like the game, I mean, personally, I enjoy it quite a lot, um, so, it'd be interesting, really interesting to see where this goes in future, um, I'm afraid I've been talking now for about 30 minutes, so I'm going to have to stop. Um, anyway, check it out. I might put a link in the description for our BeamNG website. Um, take a look. If you want, buy the game. If you don't want to buy the game, try the tech demo. Okay? Simple as that. Well, only do that if you like the game. Um, Anyway, uh, this is just the tech demo, so if you have any other, if you found out any tech demos, or maybe free to play games, or something like that, please, I beg you, tell me in the description, I will take a look at it, I will see how interesting it is, then... I might record it. I will see what it looks like. Maybe it'll turn into a series. We'll have to see. This, you know, multiplayer. You could see me, maybe Brandon Peck, someone else who needs his computer fixed. <coughs> Brad. Anyway, tell me of any tech demos you know, please. And I will attempt to record them. Anyway, I've been Connor. You were watching Zombie Gaming. Fingers crossed you watch more. And, ta everybody.